Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is an alleged NASA hack. Over the weekend, a black hat or say hacktivist group calling themselves AnonSec released a post where they have claimed that they were able to infiltrate NASA's network and steal over 250 gigabytes of drone information. A number of news organizations picked up on the story early this week and are still trying to figure out if this story is true. In any case, here's what happened. On the weekend, on Pastebin, AnonSec released what they call an e-zine that kind of shares the story of this alleged hack. According to the e-zine, this whole hack started because one of NASA's computers was infected by a Gozi Trojan, or a bot client. And apparently, AnonSec claims to have bought access to this bot from a Chinese hacking organization. Now, one once they had access to that one Trojan computer, they found they didn't have root access, so they had to use local floss to elevate their privilege. But once they had the beachhead on NASA's network, they claimed to then use that computer to scan the rest of the organization and start learning about all the different IPs and networks in NASA's network. And this is kind of something called pivoting. Once an attacker gains access to one of your computers, they use all kinds of different scanning techniques to learn more information, but more importantly, they start to, to find important gateways in your network and pivot from that point even further into your network. In any case, without going into all the details which they have in their alleged story of this hack, the attackers eventually found some network storage devices, apparently a world books from Western Digital, which stored tons of information. And they later learned that apparently this was flight plan information for NASA's drone flights and things like a video from those flights and other things like that. They even claimed to have adjusted files on these network stores which would affect the actual flight plan of NASA's drone, although none of this has been confirmed. So anyways, the story goes into a lot of detail about NASA's bad operation security or OPSEC. They say there was a lot of bad default passwords, a lot of low security passwords used by administrators, a lot of unpatched systems, and on and on and on. One of the biggest issues according to AnonSec is the fact that once you get past the hard perimeter of the network, the soft, chewy middle was very easy for them to jump around in. Now, we really don't know if this is true. In fact, in a recent article, NASA claims they have no signs of any sort of network breach. In fact, they also claim that all the videos and files that were released in this big 250 gigabyte download are things that you could get from NASA's public servers. NASA, as a public organization, actually shares a lot of their data freely. So it's really hard to tell whether or not AnonSec's allegations of this breach are really true. I guess we'll learn over time, but it really is an interesting story. If you actually read AnonSec's easy story of how they claim to have breached this network, even if it does turn out to be a fiction, it actually reads very much like network attacks that I have seen happen in real life. So I think you can learn from some of the, the mistakes that are described in this easy, whether they're fictional or not. Things like segment your network, don't use default passwords, and use strong passwords and patch regularly. In any case, a very interesting story. Be sure to check out the references to the links if you want to learn more. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.